It's always nice to perform in a venue that looks and feels like a really oversubscribed one of those puzzle room escape games. <laughs> Have you done those? There's a couple here, I know. They're so much fun. If you've never done one, what happens is uh, you and five friends get locked in a room by a stranger. Stay with me. And uh, you have to solve a bunch of puzzles, and if you solve them all within the hour, they, they let you out. Spoiler alert, they let you out anyway. But they're great fun. It's somewhere on an entertainment scale between, um, like, the crystal maze and burgling a grandparent. They're great fun. They're a really good way to find out under pressure which of your friends knows the meaning of the word clockwise. <laughs> Don't do one with a child, is my advice. I did one at the Edinburgh Festival last year. There were six of us there. One person dropped out. One of our team brought their 12-year-old son along last minute. And someone just drew breath. Oh. Yeah, there is nothing more disappointing in the world than uh, seeing an adult push a child out of the way of a filing cabinet <laughs> by its face, like its whole face, like, I've got this. <laughs> Me and my brother did one a little while ago. Uh, he came down on a Tuesday afternoon. We did one here in Bristol. And um, he came down and we went along for his birthday. We turned up, we hadn't booked online. Normally you have to, you have to, to book online, but we just turned up on spec. And uh, we found, you know when you see like a, like a two-story building, just like a little house on its own, surrounded by rubble on an industrial estate. <laughs> and there were these uh, big imposing stone steps, a great big black door with a, a nameplate, but the nameplate was blank. And we thought, oh, the game's afoot. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> wrong building in the end. <laughs> So we tracked down the actual one, it's around the corner. We went in, and the first thing that happens is you have to, you've really got to throw yourself in, right? If you, if you hold back, you, you don't get the most out of it. So the first thing that happens is you have to undergo a slightly eggy mission briefing from a drama graduate in a lab coat. <laughs> and part of you, to be honest, is biting your tongue because you're thinking, come on, mate, if you knew anything about strategy, you'd be in a soap opera. But you don't, <laughs> it just sounds mean. I think you're going to have to accept that that bit just sounds mean. <laughs> Sorry, I record all of my shows, even this one, for quality and training purposes. And um, I will, what I do is I'll listen back to this in a cafe uh, about nine o'clock tomorrow morning. It's going quite well. <laughs> Believe in yourself. So we went in, we did the briefing, and we had a good time. It was all right, it, was, it wasn't my favorite one. It was kind of spy-themed, a bit of an over-reliance on number puzzles. Uh, they say mankind is only three meals away from barbarism, but we're apparently only one padlock combination from punching your brother in the neck. Who knew? <laughs> we, we finished up. It's great fun. We finished up, and then uh, we, we thanked the guy, took a picture with him, it was fantastic, and then we left, and we got a couple of blocks away before I suddenly realised I hadn't paid, right? And it was, it was 50 quid, which normally you'd share between six people, but it was just the two of us, and it was his birthday, so I was going to pay all of it, and it hadn't been brilliant. <laughs> And we had escaped, so... <laughs> but we did the right thing, of course we did. We went back, well, we, we put the money in a safe and then tipped it in the canal. See how they like it. <laughs> so that's by way of a little introductory anecdote about how sometimes it can be quite fun to deliberately trap yourself in a particular situation. The rest of the show is about my excellent new wife and baby. <laughs> It's always nice to perform in a venue that looks and feels like a really oversubscribed one of those puzzle room escape games. 